no clue on how to start the project. As I walk back to my four-room flat, an idea suddenly hit me in the face. There has to be something on here. These lights must save a ton of energy since they do not operate at full brightness hey, at all times. Wait a minute. So, sure, I'd like to ask you something. Uh, I'm actually from Macron News Agency and I'm doing this report on uh, sustainability and innovation. Do you speak English? Oh, of course I do. I got a degree in English back in China. Uh, okay, good, good. Uh, did you install all these lights here? Oh, yes, I did. And I feel very proud of what I'm doing. I can earn money and save the earth at the same time. How so? How do you save the earth? Uh, basically, these are smart lights. It contains a PIR that measures infrared light radiating from humans when they walk past. So when they detect nobody walking past, the lights will off and use less energy. These lights brighten only when the PIR detects heat from people when they walk past. My group friend, Nilesh Jadev at NTU's Energy Research Institute told me that LED lights combined with motion sensors will result in 60 to 80% more energy savings compared to compact fluorescent lamps. All new BTO flats will be equipped with this technology. Just imagine all energy that will be saved from this project. The whole world will be a more sustainable place. Wow, you know a lot. Do you know of any other green innovations? Nowadays, there are many kinds of green innovations. Technological improvements are making alternative sources of energy possible. In fact, I have a friend from China who will be holding a press conference on the Three Gorgeous Dam tomorrow at MBS. You can check it out if you are free. Hey, thank you, Songti. I'll definitely go down tomorrow. The work you are doing is making the world a better place. I now have some knowledge on green innovation and where to go next. I have a lot more work to do, but I am excited. Morning boss, are you Mr. Jin Xiang? Going to MBS is it? Yeah I am, long day ahead, I'm going to the Three Gorgeous Dam conference. Oh, you're giving talk is it? Huh? No la, I'm a journalist working for Marco News. This is one of my assignments. Ah, all the best ah, bro. Ah, thanks uncle. Uncle, why your car looks so different? Ah? Oh, a lot of people also ask uncle this question. It's cause this one is a Prius hybrid car. You can use petrol and electricity to run. Because of this, uh, Uncle's car got better fuel economy and an enhanced engine range. According to America's EPA, Uncle's car got average consumption of 4.7 liters for 100 km. This car also got electric mode, so it can run purely on electricity from the battery, under 40 km per hour. Best of all, I love the fuel economy. I drive over 2,700 km using only 115 liters of petrol. This means Uncle spend $260. If Uncle drive his old car, the petrol will cost more than $400 for the same distance. More savings means more money for Uncle. You also know lah, nowadays, driver like Uncle earn money very difficult lah. Hmm, I see, I see. Hey Uncle, can you stop in front of the car park for a while? I need to pick up a colleague of mine. Okay, over here is it? Yeah. Okay, sure, no problem. Hey, sorry Uncle, I think my friend is coming already. Oh, uh, don't worry lah, it's okay one. This car engine shut down when Uncle is not driving. So save petrol. Also, this car has a parking ventilation system that uses solar energy from the roof to power the fan. So air can circulate inside while the car stops. Like now. There, your colleague come ready. Sorry, sorry. Hey, no worries boy. As I was saying just now, uh, this car is very efficient. <laughs> Today 
marks a conference addressing these issues. We now begin the conference by inviting the prestigious Dr. Mao Duodo to commence the conference. Dr. Mao, please. Sustainable innovations really sustainable, or is it merely the lesser of two evils in affecting our ecosystem? Yeah, agree, man. I heard the skinny boy burger is not bad. Let's go there for lunch. Uh, I think that's very hard now. How about Mini Mini's Cafe? It's a Swedish cafe. What's so good about the cafe? Well, it serves organic food. It's definitely much more flavorful and tastier than the ordinary food. Okay, let's go there then. Tell me, what's so good about the organic food here? During my 5 years in Sweden, I learned that organic food does not contain genetically modified organisms, which is known as GMO. These are actually harmful to the environment as well as to our human health. By not using pesticide, we can avoid contaminating the soil and therefore this boosts our biodiversity. Furthermore, organic food are definitely tastier and more flavorful than our usual food we have on our table. Well, in that case, should we order more? Certainly not, bro. We should order in moderation. Do you know that 796,000 tons of food waste was generated in Singapore just last year? And this is equivalent to 145,000 of elephants. Oh my, I think we should just finish what we ordered, right? Enjoy your meal. 
I'm sorry sir, we only serve pet water. I'm really very apologetic, but please allow me to explain. Articles have actually shown that most water bottle brands have been sued for misrepresentation. So, when asked for their water source, most of them admitted that there are actually no special ingredients, but rather just regular tap water. So, there are actually a lot of detrimental impacts in relation to just one single bottle of water. According to a US study, the extraction, production, and transportation process of the bottles require all that is enough to fuel a million cars. On top of that, these bottles are usually downcycled. This is where bottles are made into product of lesser value, or in some way, compromise the integrity of the material through the reclamation process. So, instead of spending money on glorified tap water, how about we all help to reduce the detrimental effect on environment and stop drinking water water altogether? Innovations are not the only way to achieve sustainability. With the right mindset and attitude, it can translate into the right behaviour. And we can achieve sustainability by complementing green innovations. Ultimately, sustainability is a life choice and it incorporates an integrative approach in the long run. Green innovation is not the only option. We need to adopt multi-pronged approach to achieve sustainability. We define not just by what we create, but what we refuse to destroy. The first rule of sustainability is to align with natural forces, or at least try not to defy them. The greatest threat to our planet is the belief that someone else will save it. Green innovation is a solution, but more importantly, each and every one of us should change the way we lead our lives to be part of the solution. Let's all start conserving our precious resources and champion a sustainable way of life. 